safety is designed into your ELLV. It meets or exceeds all applicable federal truck standards for occupant protection and impact intrusion. However, for your own safety, always wear your safety belt in compliance with postal policy. Wearing a safety belt is always your best protection. Make it click every time. I want to remind you that your vehicle is designed to help protect you from high voltage in case of an accident. However, in any post-accident or emergency situation, remember to turn the ignition key to the off position for added safety. At the end of every day, you'll be bringing your vehicle back to the power control station at the post office for recharging. When you pull up to the PCS, keep your foot on the brake. Shift the vehicle into park, set the parking brake, turn the ignition to lock, and remove the key before exiting the vehicle. To start charging, open the charge inlet access door on the right front fender of the vehicle. Then align the PCS plug to the charge inlet. Fully insert the plug then push down to lock it in place. You should hear a click as it locks. I want to emphasize again that no electricity passes through this cord until after it is properly plugged in. Your PCS is programmed to delay charging until late at night when utility rates are lower. It takes the batteries about seven to nine hours to fully recharge from empty. When your PCS is functioning properly, you'll see a flashing green light come on when you plug in the PCS cord. There is also a red warning light that will only illuminate if there's a fault in the system. If the green light doesn't come on, ensure that the PCS plug is fully inserted. If you still don't see it, or if you see the red light, inform your supervisor immediately. Now let's review a few of the more important points of the Getting Started program. Grumman Olson's long life vehicle body has been married with Ford's electric Ranger chassis, which was put through rigorous testing to ensure that it's safe to operate and charge in any type of weather. Range is affected by several factors, including use of the economy mode, tire pressure, outside temperature, heater use, driving habits, and terrain. Use caution when moving your electric vehicle as pedestrians may not be familiar with the sound made by the ELLV. Be aware of the gauges on your instrument panel and what they indicate. Your electric vehicle has been designed with numerous safety features and meets or exceeds all applicable federal truck standards for occupant protection and impact intrusion. Wear your safety belt at all times when the vehicle is in motion. If you are in an accident, be sure to turn the ignition key to the off position for added safety. At the end of every day, be sure to plug in the PCS cord and confirm that the flashing green light comes on. Some vehicles in colder climates may have an optional fuel-fired heater. For those vehicles, additional instructions will be provided. The electric long-life vehicle answers the need for a zero-emissions vehicle that helps protect the environment and meets the needs of rigorous daily use. I am certain that you'll enjoy the experience of driving your electric vehicle.